Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. Today is Friday. Yeah, Friday, September 30th. Last day of the month. Hannah and I came up to Monument. I don't know why, we just felt a calling to come to this Goodwill today. So let's go in and find out why. <laughs> so I don't know if my regular YouTube friends connect the dots yet, but this is the one that has the Deja Blue section where they tend to try to put in, um, you know, like what they think is more valuable, vintage and whatnot. They are in full Halloween mode with decorations and items for sale. I wanted to show you guys this wig. That's kind of cute wig. That would be really good for like a, a historical outfit. It's only $5.99. It's cute, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Yes, I think I might buy that actually. Just because of the way it's done up. So there is a better view of the inside of the Deja Blue, and we'll do that after a while. I want to hit the regular hard goods first. We are bypassing <laughs> Halloween because there are a lot of families looking through the kids' costumes, which is very common this time of year. That lamp is $19.99, but it's these little unusual bulbs. It's kind of cute too. I mean, it's modern with an older flare. I see some interesting furniture pieces like, let me zoom in, that white rack back there. Yeah, so ours is going to compete directly with your house. Zoom back out. Okay, but we're going to hit hard goods first. End caps, here's some of the spaghetti glasses. Now they're only $1.59. I do have some for sale in the booth and I wouldn't mind adding, but let's talk about this. See, these aren't in good enough shape. See that? It's starting to peel off. So unfortunately, we're going to have to leave them. But you know what? Another vintage lover might want to use them as like maybe vases and it would cover up the damage here because the rest of them are fine the rest of the parts are fine so somebody still might have fun with those right huh look at that cauliflower picture I don't see any damage $5.99 Italian we're gonna put that in the cart and I'll look it up and tell you guys about it after we get done shopping. Pick the stuff out first. Right? Wow, look at this little set. $2.99 for the saucer and Demitas. Am I saying that right? Some of you are trying to teach me that stuff. German. Wow. Lusterware. It does have a little nick on it. That's a maybe. We'll see if someone else falls in love with it first. $1.99 for some green vintage. Whoa, I didn't know there was glass there. Sorry, y'all. I didn't know they had a glass panel, which is an excellent idea, by the way, but <laughs> caught me off guard. There's three of them. Okay. There we go. Um, I might get those if I find one more especially. Oh, what's down here? This looks modern, but let's check the bottom. Because some modern stuff is a good design collab and worth some money. And that's pretty. I'll pass though. Okay, I might come back for those. Someone's entire elephant collection. But I didn't see one. That's Avon. This is the only one I thought was kind of older. The tusks are plastic though. I kind of like that one. Anyways, it's a little noisy so I didn't film the first half. People behind me and the Halloween section is still closed. 
but I picked this up and I thought do I want that I don't know that seems I don't know if that's cool or not I know it's a cliche but anyways it was rattling around so I opened it up and that's what was inside <laughs> so so far I've made 66 cents at the thrift store <laughs> This is, I believe, a Saddler or a Hall. I'd have to pick, I'd have to peel that off. It's either Saddler or Hall, I can't quite remember. It's got a few chips though. Some of the gold is wearing off, $2.99. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a vase or if something's, a lid is missing. Maybe it matches a teapot or something most likely, right? But here's what I did throw into the cart that I thought was cute. This contemporary cow at school. Glasses, a hair bonnet. It's some kind of tin and the lid's probably missing, but I think that would make a cute vase. Let me move over. And I like this acrylic holder, separated organizer for a dot two ninety nine. I'm gonna get that. And I think I'll throw this into the booth. Little hammered metal thing made in USA by American Forging. Yes. And this is just kind of interesting to me, this little horoscope looking thing, celestial. And it is Iroquois, New York, but it looks more modern. I'm gonna check to see how their modern stuff does. And then an acrylic piece, hello, hi hi. Signed by M. Cox, etched acrylic. <laughs> I will put this with the White Swan Christmas. It has a wreath in it. I've got a couple of pieces like this that I kept for myself the art department there was quite a surge of people that were like you know with their friends so they tend to be a little bit louder let's you know I'm not trying to be mean they're having fun but it's settled down now it's about lunchtime some Ann Gads I don't know if that's still popular or not that photographer that used to do the what would you say opposite the anti-anthropomorphic I don't know <laughs> take humans particularly babies and turn them into other types of objects anyways I did pick out a few things I like these I don't think I'm gonna make a whole lot of money they're a dollar ninety nine a piece but they are a little older looks like someone took pictures out of a book but they're already nicely framed for someone that little Art Nouveau design. I think I'll try these. I won't make a lot of money, but I would like to save them. And I think someone might, someone might like these. The color palette's kind of nice, nice and muted. And there would be three of them. Okay, let's get it. 1912 styles. That's Art Nouveau though, isn't it? 1913 style by G. Barbier. Hmm, that might be called something else. That might be a little before Art Nouveau. Oh well, somebody will know. I like it. I didn't see anything else. We're gonna step into Deja Blue now. It's quieted down. This is pretty, but it's $12.99. That is not Murano. You can put Murano style if you want to, but let's look at that bottom. It's cute though, but I'm not going to buy it at $12.99 because it's not worth that much unless you're going to lie to people or find someone who doesn't know. And you know what I peeked in on someone just last night a sale and once again there they were selling something calling it Murano that was not luckily 
they didn't fool anybody. Somebody just bought it because they liked it. I think for about $20. Paperweight or something. Y'all need to be careful. Some of these newer sellers don't exactly know what they're dealing with yet. Don't be afraid to speak up. That's pretty. <laughs> All right. Let's go in and see. There's two sections now. Now I'm not trying to be a brat against other YouTubers. I'm just trying to... I see a lot of you guys that follow me and my friends in some of these other ones. And I'm just saying... Need to be careful. I have seen some of you that I know personally and that bought stuff from me pay, overpay for something because they said it was a Murano. And I felt bad because I'm like, darn, I don't really want to interfere and look like I'm being mean or something, but you seriously overpaid and I just really didn't know what to do. I felt between a rock and a hard spot. I decided just to leave it alone and trust that eventually this person that bought it, this one particular item, there's been several incidents, would be like, okay, I messed up on that one. Hang on, we're going to see what that is. Okay, I am leery of electronics because it's not my groove. But this is an old brownie projector. Green tag is either 30 or 50% off too. Hang on, I'll show you. Movie projector. Somebody will probably take a chance on this and try to fix it. Or see if it works. If it works, that'd be an awesome deal, right? On sale from 20. Oh, look at that wolf. I don't know if I'd put it outside, outside, but you could probably put it on a porch. I gotta see how much it is. I'll let you guys look at this stuff while I... Nope, need both hands. Be right back. Okay, it's $18.99 white tag. That, touch it up a little bit. That would look great on a front porch where it's somewhat protected. Or even inside your house. I have a huge panther, so it could be done. I like the hanging lamp. Yes, that is a hanging lamp on copper hardware. All right, rounder tops. Hannah's around here somewhere looking around too. That's cute. But you can see that is not Murano, but it's a Murano style. It's cute though. Unfortunately, it's got a repair. I would get it though just because it's different. And you know, not let anybody pay too much for it to add to their collection. A lot of the display on the rounder tops are Halloween, so I'm kind of skipping them. Look at that fluffy bird. Let's see, it's $5.99 green is 30% off. <laughs> I'm so attracted to stuff like this because, you know, Hannah and I, for the last few years, we were planning this big white swan Christmas decor, as you guys know, and it is going to happen this year, by the way. Um, and so I buy a lot of that fluffy stuff to add to it. I think I see a lamp that might be interesting. I can't tell if it's old yet or not. Yeah, it looks authentically old. $8.99. Definitely vintage. And I like it with the matching instead of a clear, right? And it's got a pattern on it. I usually don't buy a lot of things like this, but I'm kind of tempted since this one's in really good condition and with the red and the red. Christmas is coming up. Wouldn't that, if you're going to do a vintage or antique Christmas, that's a great little decor piece. Just took a quick peek through clothing, but really I'm getting ready to go. There's a nice, I call them church suits. So that's a nice one. You can sell these. Wow, that one would be 30% off too. But this caught my attention. I saw it from the bottom. This is just a Charlotte Russe or Russe. They were at the mall, fast fashion, kind of like a Forever 21. Um, 
I don't think they are any, I don't think there was any more, I don't know. But, do you guys know Magnolia Pearl? It's very expensive. I'll throw up a shot. Magnolia Pearl website. This right here, if you worked with this, you could make a really cute little outfit, little romantic outfit. Maybe um, romantic, Victorian, or the Magnolia Pearl look, which is kind of that, but mixed with cottage core, mixed with old-time farming, cotton picking. It's kind of unique. They take all of that older element type stuff and kind of um, make a fusion of poor boy look. It's really interesting. I don't know how else to say it. Let me just put up some information. You guys can check it out and see what keywords they use to describe themselves. I follow them on Instagram, but you know, it's, it's pricey stuff. And if you are lucky enough to find some at the thrift stores, be careful if you're selling it on eBay because they have cracked down on using their name. Let's see, what else do I want to look at? That looks authentic. That's a pumpkin squash, right? <laughs> they painted it, painted it, but it looks like a squash now. Linens, beach towels, blankets, pillowcases, etc. You guys want to hear it one more time can i say it for those that are new to watching my channel no i don't get excited about beach towels unless it's like a hudson or something like that or and this is the exact location where it happened about three or four years ago i found a lisa frank vintage beach towel which i did sell on ebay you can verify it through worth point now for about 175 dollars so I have to look at beach towels ever since then, especially this location, right? Let's check these out. Got some candy corn colors for Halloween. But both of these, I'm going to pass, definitely. Both of these are the cheaper yarn. And see all that pilling? They've been through the washer quite a few times, so we're going to have to pass. I see something. It's clear glass, but I like the optics on it. Oh my goodness. We talked to Lorraine, the watercolor artist. Remember the last video? Wow, she would probably like that. Oh, it's so heavy too. $7.99. This is a better quality glass. I'm going to look for a signature somewhere. I'm going to get that, even if it's just for me. Let me set it back up for you guys. That is a really pretty clear glass with some lead crystal in it. The edges are nice and finished. I just love the optics, definitely. So I'm gonna get that and I might keep it. I'll send a picture to Lorraine and see if she wants to borrow it though for a watercolor. I'm looking at scarves and we have some nice music playing in the background. <laughs> He's singing his little heart out. <laughs> um, I wanna show you guys what I picked out here. Wait a minute, I'm just checking the rest real quick. She was just putting some out love my scarves okay so I'm gonna get this one this is a good deal and you can use it like a table runner okay it's the burnout fringe I always do well with that and this one here has been here for a while I know it looks a little gnarly somewhat interesting right they used an older tie I wonder whose tie that is Korea but the reason I'm getting this it's half price too so to be like two dollars is look at that vintage pin it is missing a couple rhinestones. I'm going to fix I'm looking it. at the back of it. That is probably even an antique. And there's another one too. Some cute little button she added. Okay, so I'm getting that for the pins. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at it because that's a cute idea. Well, there's another cute little button. So someone took an older scarf and wove a tie through it. So that's a cute idea for those of you that are creative, right? So it's half price, so we're gonna get that. And I wanted to check this out. My friend Amy, Yoso Boho, she just looks adorable in these berets. This is a Liz Claiborne. And she looks good in this color too. And she's not opposed to cleaning up a thrift store hat and wearing it, but that one's got a problem. But I've been on the lookout lately. I'm like, I want to get Amy a very cool 
of some sort, little hats, nude or beret to send her. Anyways, that was fascinating. I like the concept of the design too. I think we might be about ready here. Like I said, I'm squeezing in a whatnot sale, so I gotta rearrange some things. I'm gonna have to push out my friend mail unboxing, which is severely late. Oh good, it's raining out, yay, we need it. And um, do that, I guess, next week. Sorry, y'all, I don't mean to be rude, but Kat's a good friend of mine. You know, Kat the Nurse Flipper, we do a lot of things together, and she just made me a nice offer that I can't refuse. So we're going to go through my two huge bins and boxes of jewelry and pick some stuff out for Sunday. Well, Hannah was finishing up some cool athletic jackets she wanted to try on, some good brands. So I ran back over to the hard goods and she was just putting stuff out and she kind of let me hover over. <laughs> so this is only $5.99. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Clift. C-L-I-F-T. Unfortunately, they had the top taped on and I shouldn't have trusted it. I should have grabbed it more carefully and the top broke, but I'm still going to get it for the price because of that name. So we're going to get that. I don't know why I'm getting this little plastic gnome. I'm not sure. I might put that back. I don't know what I'm thinking. And the other things that she had in her cart was this little piece. This is a Rosenthal from Germany but it's a collab can you see that with I'm not gonna say this right but I know to always look at that name Bjorn Winblad. I learned that from George a couple years ago when he was here we were up in um, Denver the brass armadillo and so that artist right here pieces are usually great so this is a nice little collab it's not one of his faces or anything people but I'll get that. I'm not even going to bother to look it up. It's only $3.99. And she had a little Humpty Dumpty. I don't know if it's missing a lid or if it's just a nice little vase. This is a Rubens import. A little love note to somebody. I've never bought and sold one of these. I've seen Jeffrey Real Nifty Vintage do it. So I'll pick one up for y'all. This is just a little telefloral piece hard to say how old it is or who made it for them but I just like it you're one in a million a little vase a little bud vase okay all right hope you guys had a little bit of fun there is not a mirror in sight y'all know what I look like I'll do one of those slide ups <laughs> and say goodbye I'll talk to you guys later bye bye